Hey, what's up? It's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to Biohazard on Old School RuneScape. If you're doing this on RuneScape 3, I have a guide for that as well. Link description below. On screen right now is everything you need to prepare yourself for this quest, which is pretty self explanatory. The only thing I want to explain is the gas mask. It's an untradeable item, but it was obtained from the Plague City quest, which is a requirement to do this one. You should check your bank for it first in case you kept it. Otherwise, you can get another one from the cupboard in Edmund and Arena's house in the northwest corner of East Ardoin. It will only only be there if you do not already have one. Feel free to pause this if you need it as I'm going to get into the guide now. This video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start the quest, go to this house in East Ardoin, shown by a yellow marker on this map. You get near there using the Ardoin teleport, skills necklace to fishing guild, comic bracelet to arranging guild, or worst case, a Camelot teleport. Feel free to pause this if you need it as I'm going to get into the quest now. To start the quest, speak to Elena and select option one, yes. Head to the house across the river south of the bank. The fastest way across the river is to use a log shortcut just outside of Elena's house to the east, but that requires 33 agility. If you do not have that, you would have to go a bit further south along the river to go across the bridge. Speak to Jericho. Open search the cupboard in the northwest corner and finish the dialogue in your chat box to receive bird feed. Go to the area outside the house to the east where the red dots are and take one pigeon cage. Head to the southwest corner of the city. Speak to Omar. Head to the area by the gate that separates West and East Ardoin. Right click the bird feed and choose to use it on the spikes that surround the watchtower, but it's just called watchtower, not spikes or anything like that. Then click on the pigeon cage to open it. Run south along the wall until you reach the southwest corner of the city. Wear the gas mask, speak to Omar, and select option 1. Okay, let's do it. Go north to his area. Squeeze through the fence and take the rotten apple off the ground to the east. Right click the rotten apple and use it on the cauldron then squeeze back through the fence. Head to his house southwest of the church. Open search the cupboard to receive a medical gown, then wear the medical gown. Go to the building in the northeast corner. Open the front door and finish the dialogue to get inside. To the northwest, climb up the staircase. Defeat a mourner up here to receive a key in your inventory, then use the key on the gate to open it. Inside the gate to the north, the third crate from the west, search that one to find a distillator. 
head back to Elena. If you don't have any teleport options, you can go to the southeast corner of the city and talk to the guy there to climb back over the wall. Similar to how you got here in the first place, you'll need four free inventory spaces for this next part. You can drop the pigeon cage and the key. Speak to Elena who will give you four vials of various things. Go to this building in Remington. You can get near there by using a teleport to house spell if your house is there. Group and teleport to a rat pits in Port Sarum if you have that unlocked. Skills necklace to crafting guild. Explorer's rings at cabbage patch. Amulet glory to drain our village or a regular Faldor teleport. Teleporting with these items no longer breaks them, which used to be a thing. You need one free inventory space, by the way. Speak to the chemist and select option 2, your quest to get some touch paper. You now need to speak to the three guys outside and give each of them a very specific vial liquid. Be careful because you cannot get this wrong or else you have to get the vials again. Speak to Chansey and select option 2 to give him the liquid honey. Speak to Da Vinci and select option 1 to give him the ethania. Speak to Hops and select option 3 to give him the Sulfuric Broline. Go to the gate that separates the southeast corner of Iraq. You can teleport near there using a regular Iraq teleport, a Chronicle or Comet bracelet to Champions Guild, a Skills Necklace to Cooking Guild, or the Ring of Wealth to Grand Exchange. Open a gate and finish the dialogue to get inside. Head to bar to south. Speak to the three guys, Chansey, Hops, and Da Vinci, to retrieve the three vials of liquid you gave them earlier. Assuming you gave them the right ones, it does not matter what order you talk to them in, and you don't need to finish the conversations. Just need to talk to each one enough to get the vials back and move on to the next one. Go northeast to the clothes shop. You need two free inventory spaces. Speak to Asif and select option 1 to have a spare priest gown to get two pieces of the priest gown and put that on. Go to house in the southeast corner and open door to get to Gidor. Speak to Gidor and select chat option 1. I've come to ask your assistance in stopping a plague. Head back to Elena. Speak to Elena. Go to Ordarn Castle to the south. Climb up the staircase. 
find King Lathus in the middle room and speak to him. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also links in the description below for our Patreon, donation link, Twitter, and Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be directly made through YouTube now. Thanks option near like button below the video. Catch you later. Peace.